Hello friends, uh, in previous video we have seen how to enter a data using select into table name and the field names. After writing the field names, we have to write values and the values for specific field names. So using this query, we have entered the data inside this particular table. One more time, employee ID. I'll take number three. I'll change and Change. I have changed the table right now. I have to select it. Then go to design. I need to click on design. And then I have to run the query. The prompt will come. You are about to add one row. Yes. Go to employee table and refresh you can see a new record is added this, this is what we have done in earlier period uh, earlier video now if question come or in the exam say so select overall data whatever available in this employee table so what we have to do is again the same procedure what we have to do go to the create query design again the table name will be asked add the table close what we will do append it will ask for the table name append table name current database ok then go to view sql view ok here this question is select all the table so what we have to remove we have to oh, sorry even as it is this we have to remove the insert query now we have to get the data so select star select star from employee table this is a query this query will help us to find out all the database tables all the information or it will show you overall table of employee so I have selected and when I click on the run you see the table appears in front of you so this query help us to give you overall information about the table that is select star from employee table help you to provide all the detail about the particular table i hope you understood this now we will move further we have to create one more table now i'll create one more table create table new table Go to view, design view, it will ask you for the name, say employee, I'll take uh, e-employee info, click on OK, table available, ID, I'll rip the auto number will remain as it is. Uh, I'll take the number say phone number phone <coughs> EM phone I'll take phone number um, phone number is will be like large number I'll go to another information say MP sal 
EMP salary I collect here salary large number this is the basic information I'll take and uh, save the information what I have to do is I want employee phone number here so I'll go to lookup wizard I'll teach you now lookup wizard how to access the information from one table to another lookup wizard lookup wizard will ask you uh, I want to look field to get the values from another table or query yes I'll select the information from another table click next which table I want that want info which table or query should provide the value for your lookup field for this particular field employee phone number I want employee table should provide the value I'll say next what I want is employee phone number I'll click on next it should be in ascending order whatever you wanted to show ascending order email ID first or phone number accordingly remain blank next the information for phone number will be available here I'll click next and try phone and finish I'll save before they are ok yes. let I save now now again I'll go for salary I go for salary for salary again look of wizard it will ask you for look of field from where to access the table next which table from which table we are going to access the value from table employee next what I want is employee salary from the table next next ascending order is in order next salary will appear click on next and sl finish it will again ask you to save yes save the data or information when I go I have to do a changes a little bit here uh, this number will be like a American number or a number normal number I have to save the information now go to data sheet view we're gonna enter number one here ID number one employee phone number for ID number one what is the information we have ID number one mobile number is 9821826823 I'll go to the employee info table ID number one the information available what is the information uh, the phone number for number two query is so it must be remembered so according to that you can select that particular number ID number three what is the salary for ID number one is 40,000 what is the uh, salary for ID number two is 50,000 and for last is so this is how you can access all the information about the another table data or information in some another table using lookup wizard this is how you can make use of lookup wizard 
I think you understand. One more thing I'd like to show you that in this table specific field I wanted to select. If if this question asks select EMP name, EMP address and EMP cell from employee table. How to do that? Go to create query wizard. That's what we have done previously, query design. Now put query wizard. Click simple query wizard here select click ok it will ask him what be this question is this question is asked as find out a uh, display employee name emp address and cell what you want employee name employee address and employee salary click next detail show every field next Open the query to view the information that is, it will show you the information from the employee table query. I click on finish. What you get is employee name, employee address, and employee salary. So, one question asks to find out the specific information from whole table. What we have done is we have selected specific information using what using query wizard i think you understand this video as well enjoy study hard all the best